Hey, so it's Mr. Chris here. Um, so this video is going to try to um, help you out with just kind of beginning to explore some improv improvisation ideas or solo ideas. Um, uh, and I'm going to try to tie them back to the, the Bob Dylan thing. So um, again, your your main kind of accompaniment style there is, is so good. Um, but one of the reasons I'm, I'm really big on having the chords in the left hand, or even if you put them up here, is it frees the right hand up to kind of to become its own voice. Um, of course, we could, you know, play the, the regular melody. Right? But um, you could free it up there. If you know what the scales are that, that happen with these guys, um, you're welcome to compose your new your own melodies or make fills, all those kind of fun stuff. I'll give you a quick example. Um, Cool. So how are we doing that? How do we know kind of which scales to use and um, kind of get some of it is trial and error. Um, some of it is having some some scales in your pocket. And uh, I'm going to try to show you um, a couple couple simple ways that, that you can kind of get through it. So as square as it is, the first thing that you, you kind of want to really have control over is is your major scales. Um, just because they're the, they're the basis for so much else. So for this one, since we're doing a lot in the key of A, um, I would say, you know, take your A chord, just give yourself a bass down here in the left hand. Just, you know, ring it out and make sure that this scale is very comfortable for you. Um, that's the A major. All right. So the first step I would do is just um, try to make melodies out of that scale. And they don't have to be crazy. You don't have to, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> um, but, you know, three, four note uh, sort of patterns. And then see if you can kind of slide them around like... So I'm not paying too much attention to even what I'm sounding like. I'm basically just trying to jump around the scale, not start on the A all the time, start at different places. But wherever I start, I, I know if I move up or down, I'm going to stay inside that scale. If I went up here, I'd have to hit these sharps. All right? If I went down. All right? So this is what I'm visualizing and just kind of dancing around inside that, kind of wherever my fingers want to take me is the thing. And of course, that will always work for A because that's the scale that goes with A. Um, now, conveniently, that's kind of the scale that works for a lot of these chords here. Um, I'll show you. All right. And then um, once we get to that... Uh, sorry, I'm probably jumping too far ahead. But when, when we get to that G, we, we do have to change a little bit. Because we don't want to hit this G sharp. Because um, that's going to clash really bad, right? Yeah, no good at all, right? So we're going to change that down to G. But we want to keep those other two sharps. It's going to sound really good. All right? So um, I'm going to do those first three chords of the song. I'm going to go nice and slow. But um, I'm going to start with that A. And then I know here i got to hit by G. Let's take, take those first four, um, and you, you know the chords. Use the A, E, G, D. Cool. So, again, I, I might, this might be too much, but uh, again, just trying to talk through the, the thought process. So on those first two chords, I'm thinking this scale. Uh, for the G and the D, I'm going to drop down to just those two sharps, F sharp, C sharp. Cool. Beyond that, really, anything you play is going to sound, sound pretty good. Here. Oh, sorry, I jumped to the chord. Right? And then what would it make sense here, um, since I'm moving that sharp down to, to F, I also have to do it here. So that's the only sharp left at that point. And then I'm back to A. Cool. And then I'm not going to burden you with like mixolydian modes and all that stuff just quite yet. But for this B7, what I would recommend for now is just arpeggiate the chord. You don't have to start on the root. You can do R. But just stick to chord notes. Later, I'll show you how to fill all that in too. But 
but it's only two beats, so we can just arpeggiate. And then for this one, they kind of tell us what to do. Um, I would arpeggiate the D chord. Right, and then a nice chord for A there. Cool, so I know that's probably, again, like a, a little much there, but I just wanted to talk you through my thought process across those chords. Again, what I would recommend practicing is um, taking those first four chords, using the, the A scale for those, and then dr dropping to the G natural on those second two, so. Here's the G natural. Right? And just try a couple rounds of that. It's okay to sound bad. You know, you might you might miss a few things like Sure, whatever, <laughs> you know, but you can kind of figure out um what you like and what you don't kind of based around there. All right, cool. So one more time around and then I'm gonna give you the pentatonics thing too. Alright, so here I go with my A chord. Might start on the C sharp, go up. So I made a mistake there, hit the G, that's fine. Yes, and then uh, I'm so tempted to keep going, but the you know that D minor is isn't you know super nice, and then back to the A, just arpeggiate, and then I, you can end with a double A chord. Cool. So even if it seems a little bit too much now, just experiment with it. I know that um, you have the imagination to kind of operate as an improviser. And um, it is uh, basically just kind of uh, trial and error. <laughs> you know, um, over time, you just kind of refine it and gets it going. So I did want to give you one other uh, quick tool to put in your box here. This is called the um, the pentatonic scale. Um, it's a good thing to know. And I'm just going to show you in C and then we'll take it down to, to A. So, um, so it's one thing to say, okay, this is the scale you're going to use to improvise, but that's seven notes, and some of them sound better than others. It's a lot. So what the pentatonic, it literally means five notes, pentatonic. So um, it's these five notes in a scale. It's the first three, you skip this guy, the fourth one, and then the fifth and the sixth. And um, what's cool about this is like you have three steps, a skip and a step. So it's not symmetrical. So what you can do is take little patterns, like three notes going up, and then if I slide over, the second one is different. I get a skip at the top, skip at the bottom, skip the top, skip at the bottom. So it keeps kind of shifting, even though in my head I'm just thinking, oh, three notes going up through the scale. But because these guys are not in play, you get some, some cool things. And you may have heard this before. Let me play it fast so you can see what I'm saying. A little sloppy there, but that's the idea. You can do it down. Right? And then check that out with a C chord. It sounds pretty good. All right? You can do it with a D minor chord. Why not an F? A minor. All right, so a lot of applications over different chords. Um, but again, pretty simple thing to do is just you want to get in the habit of, of skipping the fourth note and the seventh note of the scale. Cool. So if you wanted to practice that, which I think you should, uh, I would take two two chords there, maybe C and D minor. Um, just back and forth. So on and so forth. That's kind of how that stuff goes. And again, just have fun with it. It's all about just um, experimenting, seeing what sounds you like, and then um, incorporating that into your overall style. Um, cool. And last thing, I know this video has been kind of rambling, but uh, the A chord um, from the the song there, I want to show you what that pentatonic looks like, so you could you could maybe apply that there too. So can we take the first three notes, skip the fourth one, we have an E and F sharp. So if you ever hear A pentatonic scale, that's it. A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. And you, know, you can go to the A on top there. So you could definitely use that in the context of this song if we're going like a... Good. For the G, you wouldn't be able to... Well, actually you can. And then... Y keys. 
pentatonic. Arpeggiate. Ah, uh, sorry. Sorry, let's get that. Cool. So again, just just have fun. I, again, just trying to give you some points of departure, kind of spark your imagination. And I know you can do it. It's going to be good. All right. Thanks, Isa. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Talk to you soon.